What did you do in Moscow, darling? I want you oh, to measure much. me for some I seats for my tailor. He told leg. us some names. Well, he was not told us the names, but he wasn't a member of the Communist Party. Single Spies is an uh, Alan Bennett double bill. It's about the Cambridge spy ring. If you come not knowing anything about the Cambridge spies, and I knew nothing about any of these stories when, when we started work, you'll certainly get an insight into these people, these characters of Guy Burgess and Anthony Blunt. I play Guy Burgess and he's a rather tragic figure um, living in Moscow and he's visited by um, Coral Brown who was an actress and she visited with the, essentially the Royal Shakespeare Company or the precursor to that. This sort of character of Guy Burgess in this sort of very shabby, mucky flat, living this sad life, and this sort of almost kind of grand dam of the theatre. He had all the right credentials, you know, he was Eton and he was Trinity Cambridge, he was a scholar and you know, incredibly well connected, incredibly intelligent. He would work late and he would take documents home and he would photocopy them and he would give them to the Russians. But he is charming and he is clever and he is funny and he's bitchy and just outrageous. Question of attribution, which is of course about uh, Sir Anthony Blunt. At a time when he was known to have been a spy uh, for the Soviets. Which was extraordinary because he was essentially working for the Crown. Did the Queen know whether Anthony Blunt, her surveyor of pictures, was a spy, had she been told? And he's able to play the game because he was himself an MI5 um, officer. A not dissimilar questioning takes place with the Queen and she sort of gets under his skin. It's a lovely juxtaposition to have the Queen with this sort of Anthony Blunt, just the two of them. He's not expecting to see her, she's not expecting to see him. I think an audience can expect to be moved but also find it very funny. I mean, it's very, very funny. Bennett's just written it beautifully. Somehow his voice is always there, kind of echoing in the background, I think. You can sort of hear his, his tones. You know, I think it's quite breathtaking.